minus 35. Are you guys seeing that? That is minus 35 degrees Celsius, not including wind chill, because with wind chill, it brings it down to a balmy minus 49 degrees Celsius today. Yeah, it's pretty freaking freezing. That's basically all you can describe it as is freezing. But uh, sunny, it's a beautiful day otherwise. It's just you can't stand outside for longer than a few minutes because you will get frostbite and lose feeling in your extremities. <laughs> It is so cold that it feels like your breath almost freezes when you're inhaling. Um, yeah, it is cold. I'm surprised my breath isn't like freezing in the air just from the moisture from it. Yeah, cold. But anyway, in true Petrina fashion, I decided to pop outside and pick some rose hips to make some fresh rose hip tea. You know, I actually got inspired by my mom because she was doing it, and uh, there's nothing I love more than being in nature and sipping on a bit of a uh, fresh product that nature has to offer even in the winter. So I'm gonna get some frozen rose hips and uh, I'm gonna make some tea. <laughs> there we go, there's a good amount right there. And I'll pick some of those. They're rock solid, totally frozen and thorny. Gotta be careful of the thorns, it is a rose hip bush. That's where the gloves come in handy. Uh, you know, you just need a nice little handful, not too much. It's just tea for one, so. There we go. That'll do it. I got a nice little handful of rose hips. That is a good amount for just a nice single cup of tea for myself. Uh, it is freezing. I haven't even been out here that long. And uh, it's like feeling like ice. So I'm gonna get inside and get some water boiling and get this tea on the way. Oh, dang, I just dropped one. Waste not, want not. I got her. Anyway. Get inside, get some hot water boiling, get this tea on the go, and uh, yeah, get toasty and warm again. <laughs> it's uh, a bit steep the snow. Whew. Yeah, heck yeah to being awesome, guys. Oh my gosh, this, this fire right here is a lifesaver in this weather. Not only does it keep my place warm, keeps the water pipes from freezing. It, uh, I can sit in front of it and warm my soul because even my soul feels like it's frozen right now. <laughs> but this bad boy pumps out some good heat. It has like a built-in fan, so it really pushes the hot air out. I don't know what I would do without this fireplace in the winter. And it's wood burning heat. So as you can see, nice little pile of wood there. A lot of people have pellet stoves nowadays. I still happen to love my wood stove just because it gives off a totally different heat than pellet stoves. It's a little more work, but well worth it for the ambiance and uh, the heat. <laughs> Oh, she's steeping and it smells absolutely divine. The water's already changing color. I must say that is definitely the epitome of living local no matter where in the world you are because even in these extreme temperatures there's still ways to get fresh stuff from the earth to indulge in and to make some beautiful tea. I'm uh, pretty excited to try it. The color is coming along nice and I think it's going to be delicious. I actually have... Um, some other tea from some local plants in Northwest Territories here. So I was thinking of maybe adding it to my rosehip tea and uh, giving it a little more uh, Northern-esque flavor. But first I figure I'll taste it on its own and then I'll decide if I'm gonna chalk this in or not. I'm just gonna give it a little sample. Oh wow, tastes like rose hips. And it also tastes a bit earthy, <laughs> but it did just come from the earth, so that's not surprising. But like earthy rosehip tea, which I like because I like the taste of the earth, I guess. <laughs> I like natural stuff and I like, yeah, I grew up like 
picking stuff out of the garden with dirt still on it so it's kind of like a flavor that goes just fine with me but uh that is nice mm. it's actually amazing how healthy rose hips are for you i mean these little bad boys are chocked full of vitamin c they have 60 times more vitamin c than an orange they're amazing for your kidney health, they lower your blood pressure, they help lower your cholesterol, they're great for your skin, and they really help with blood circulation, especially in the form of tea. It really promotes good blood circulation. And I mean, that's me just touching a base on a few. There is like quite a few other health benefits with rose hips. Um, I was a lucky little lady to grow up where me and my grandma would pick buckets and buckets of rose hips, and then she would make amazing rose hip jam and we would have loads all winter of jars of rosehip jam and it was just so delicious and this just brings back childhood memories i think i'm going to add in that other bit of um tea i have and take this up another notch there we go check that out that is some mighty fine looking tea if you ask me i'm excited guys it is definitely the small things in life that uh just make your day Super stoked, loving this, loving today. It is another epic day of being alive. <laughs> Look at the color, what a beauty. Oh yeah. That is so good. Like, that is like the best cup of tea I could have ever asked for. It tastes so healthy and delicious and full of vibrant vitamins and healing properties. And you know what, I think for sure, having to get out there and forge the ingredients myself, having to get out there and get my supplies and gather them, even though obviously it wasn't a lot of supplies this time around. But when you're in 40 below weather, yeah, any sort of foraging in 40 below weather is a little freaking difficult because it is that cold. You can't really handle it for more than a few minutes. So I was working fast. I was out there searching for the little rose hip bush and uh, I'm glad I found one and I'm glad I got my rose hip tea because it tastes fantastic. There you have it. Fresh rosehip tea in 40 below weather in Northwest Territories. Happy freaking days. Mm. And that fire is making me happy too. And the fact that you guys stopped by to have some tea with me and watch this video made me happy too. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna enjoy this cup of tea and I'm going to enjoy it for me and for you. So don't worry, I'll be thinking about you every sip that I take too, because life is meant to be shared so this is for you and for me and uh, have an awesome day.